Impala's available adaptive cruise control with collision imminent braking is like regular cruise control in that it keeps the car at a predetermined speed. In addition, adaptive cruise control also allows the driver to select the distance that will be maintained between the Impala and a vehicle immediately ahead of it. The distance is called the following gap. If the vehicle ahead of you is closer than the following gap you selected, adaptive cruise control will automatically slow your car and bring it to a complete stop if necessary. The collision imminent braking feature operates whether the adaptive cruise control is on or not. The adaptive cruise control buttons are located on the left side of the steering wheel hub. Use the on-off button to turn the system on and off. Once the car is at the desired speed, press the set button to maintain that speed. Once selected, pressing the set button will also reduce the selected speed by one mile per hour for each press. Use the resume button to resume the selected speed or increase it in one mile per hour increments. To disengage the adaptive cruise control without erasing the selected speed, press the cancel button. The gap button lets you select one of three following gaps or the distance you want to maintain between you and the vehicle ahead. Press the gap button once for a far gap setting, twice for medium, or three times for a near setting. The selected gap will then show briefly on the instrument cluster. When the adaptive cruise control is first turned on, a white indicator light will come on, and the indicator display on the instrument cluster will turn green to let you know the system is active. If a vehicle is detected ahead, this symbol will appear on the driver information center screen. And an important final note, if the adaptive cruise control is activated and the system determines that the collision imminent braking cannot stop the car in time, collision alert LED lights will appear in the windshield and eight beeps will sound, indicating that driver action is required. This sequence will also occur if a temporary condition prevents the system from operating or a malfunction is detected in the system. You should know that on hills and curves, the adaptive cruise control may not be able to detect a vehicle ahead. The same is true when the radar sensors in the grill are blocked by snow, fog, or other weather conditions. There are two ways to disengage the adaptive cruise control. Simply press lightly on the brake pedal or press the cancel button on the steering wheel hub. To turn the system off completely, press the on-off button.